Welcome to Unity with Pam, with your host, Pam willis Hovey. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Unity with Pam. It feels good to be hosting my own show. I've been under the weather. I'm not at full throttle, but I thank the Lord I'm standing. Amen. It's been tough, but God is ever-present. He's in the healing business, and he's in restoration, and I know that he will do all those things. Now we're going to go ahead and have our invocation by Chaplain LaShawn Scott. Thank you, Pam. Good morning, everyone. We're glad to be here, and thank you all, like Pam said, for coming out, driving carefully in the rain, so we thank God for bringing us safely. Well, let us go to the Lord in prayer as we invoke his presence. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your, your presence. We invite your presence here to be with us and, and to bless us and to inspire hearts and minds and spirits. We thank you, God, for the Pam Holy Show and the unity she brings to the community. Continue to bless and bless the community to continue to give as we continue to give and network and fellowship with one another to give resources and information so other people shall be helped, encouraged, and uplifted. We thank you for each and every one here. We thank you for this ministry. And thank you for all the um, community organizations that are here. Continue to bless each and every one individually and collectively. All these things we ask. In your name we pray, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to have a wonderful musical selection by Mr. Brian Roberts. How's everybody doing? It's just a little song to let you know that whatever you're going through, you got to keep on pushing forward. And you got to keep on striving. Is that all right? Every day of the week, when I'm asleep, he's got his angels watching over me. No, 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 never give up. No, 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 never give up. Sitting here all alone, I'm on the phone, on the phone, I'm trying to find a dial tone. Said I'm looking for some healing, not a fake feeling. Tell me, do you feel me? I know friends to call, no one to call, and then I hear a voice in my head. It says, keep pressing on, and keep striving, striving on. Hey, when I'm asleep, he's got his angels watching over me, interceding for me, looking out for me. Now tell me, how good is he? No, 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 never give up. So no, 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 never give up. So put your trust in him and you will see you'll never go wrong. Keep your faith strong and hold on. Try him, you will see that Jesus Christ is reality. That's why he's real to me. He made a way out of misery. Hey, when I'm asleep, he's got his angels watching over me, interceding for me, looking out for me. Now tell me how good is he? No, 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 never give up. I said no, 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 never give up. Every day of the week, hey, said I when I'm asleep, he's got his angels watching over me. He's in the seat for me, looking out for me. Now tell me how. I said, no, 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 never give up. You got to keep on striving, keep on striving. And my back will say, keep on. You got to hold on. I said, never give up. Say, keep on. Hey, you got to keep on, <laughs> you got to keep on, hey, said never give up, hey, said to keep on, uh, whatever you do, <laughs> it make it hard, <laughs> but you never give up, <laughs> you see, God won't give up on you, you got to put your hand in his, <laughs> and keep on striving, keep on, hey. Come on, y'all. Hey, 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 h
day. It's the end of you and me. Said it's too late. Can't wait for you. Tell your troubles now. It's the end. Said it's too late. Can't wait for you. Tell your troubles. Tell them to get out now. Tell them it's over for me. Hey. Can't wait for you. Tell your troubles now and get out. It's the end. Hey, said it's too late. Can't wait. for you to be gone. God bless you. Now we're going to go ahead and call up. Um, uh, can I say Attorney Trip Thomason? Is that all right? He is the husband of Mayor Teresa Thomason, so I guess he would be the first husband of <laughs> Columbus, Georgia. <laughs> That, that's a tongue twist. <laughs> Come on up, Trip. Well, good, good morning, everybody. Um, it, uh, I'll tell you what, it's raining outside, but it's uh, sun shining in here, isn't it? Uh, that's great, great music. Uh, that really can get you started. Thank you for that. It was wonderful, really wonderful. Well, um, I appreciate y'all giving me the opportunity to be here. Um, I kind of grew up in Columbus, started out at St. Mary's Elementary School, um, ended up graduating from Hardaway High School. <laughs> And uh, am now I taught um, at Eastway Elementary School for five years before I was able to go back to law school and get my law degree. And I've now been practicing law for probably, you know, almost 30 years. Um, and I love Columbus. And uh, it has been such a joy uh, to be, as uh, Pam called me, the first husband. Um, and that's what she kind of wanted me to talk a little bit about today is, is what it's like being the husband of the mayor. Um, you know, when Teresa ran, she really wanted to make sure that the, the table of voices or the people at the table um, were expanded, that more people had a voice, uh, more people had access to their government, and not only did she welcome people to the government center and to her office, but she also goes out and brings the government to the people. And that is where I have had the great privilege of participating in so many of these activities and events. You know, sometimes people might say, there's not anything going on in Columbus. And let me just tell you, they're, they're, they're not, they don't know what they're talking about. You know, because I go out and I go to things like, you know, just last month, the UNCF, United Negro College Fund, Mast Ball, and it was fabulous. Over 700 people there, all working to raise money to send kids to college which will better our community, give those kids opportunities they never would have had. And when that room is filled with people who are looking good and Jeff Osborne is there, you know, providing some music, it is fabulous. And, you know, Teresa, you know, makes a point of going around in that room and, and talking to people and understanding what their issues are and making sure that they have her personal cell phone number. She will give out her personal cell phone number. And in the evenings, you know, the slogan for this campaign coming up is Teresa Works. And let me tell you, I see how hard she works. Not only during the day, but in the evenings when she gets home, she'll take a few minutes and get a bite to eat. But then she, you know, is answering people's emails. They're individual emails. She's on Facebook and trying to answer people's questions and provide information to them. Um, she's responding and answering telephone calls and returning, you know, 20, 30 telephone calls that have come into her personal cell phone during the course of the day. And so I know how hard she works, and she works because she loves Columbus. She sees it's, you know, how great it already is. She sees its potential, and, and she is, you know, loves being the mayor of Columbus, Georgia. And I think she has brought such a breath of fresh air uh, to this community. I believe everybody feels like they have access to their government and have an opportunity to meet with and see the mayor. And I think that's a very important thing. Um, accessibility and transparency are the hallmarks of good government. And I want everybody to know um, that early voting starts on April 28th. Um, there'll be several sites around the city. I know one of them will be the Columbus Library uh, down off Macon Road. Um, and there'll probably be a couple others. There are two Saturdays you can vote during that period. The actual day of the election is May 20th. It's a very important election. It's early this year. It's a very odd date. So for everyone to, to remember to get out and early vote, um, but no later than May the 20th, because the most important thing we all need to do is exercise our rights to vote. 
Um, that's something that Teresa believes in, I believe in, and that's what we need to make sure happens. So thank you very much for allowing me to be here today, and I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you so much. Unity with Pam is being brought to you by these great sponsors. Is it possible to have a love-love relationship with your cable company? What if they were a different kind of cable company? Starting with not asking you to sign a contract. What if they actually listened to what you need, instead of trying to sell you something you don't? And let's say they backed up their service with a money-back guarantee. Just to be crazy, let's say this cable company was made up of happy people who treated you like an actual human being. We're WOW, and we'd like to change the way you feel about cable companies. For more than 60 years, the Dairy Queen recipe for success has been simple. It's been a combination of hardworking people, great tasting food, and tempting treats served in our establishments every day. Although a lot has changed in 60 years, some things remain the same. The smiles on children's faces, a treat for a good report card, close friends enjoying a great meal, and families spending quality time together. Here at DQ, we are always committed to treat you right. Welcome you to be a part of our ministry. This is not a put on, but this is a come on. And we come to share in our different ministries with our dance team, with our choir, and our TV ministry. And we're looking for great things to happen, great miracles to happen within this great thing to happen, great miracles to happen within this place. Come and be a part of the blessing plan. Come into Chester's Barbecue for our world-famous mouth-watering ribs, smoked fresh on our grill daily, or try one of our barbecue pork plates with fresh sides. Chester's has delicious sandwich combos to choose from that are sure to please. We also serve tempting home-cooked favorites, and don't forget to take home your own bottle of great sauce. Chester's Barbecue, serving the best food at the best price. With three locations to serve you. Now we will have Habitat for Humanity, Laura Ann Mann. Thank you so much. Well, like she said, I am Laura Ann Mann, and I am the Resource Development Manager at Columbus Area Habitat for Humanity. At Habitat, we build and sell decent, safe, affordable housing for those in need. Um, we are not a hand out. We are a hand up. Our partner families uh, work with us in about a year-long program, sometimes more, to put sweat equity into their home, and then they actually purchase the home from us. Um, it is at a reduced cost because we use volunteer labor. Um, like when you go get your, your car worked on, the part costs something, and then the labor usually costs a lot more. So when we take out that labor cost and use volunteers to build the homes, we are able to keep that cost low for our partner families. Right now, we are building five homes in the East Highland area of Columbus and trying to change that neighborhood for the better. So at Habitat, we are able to do what we do through volunteers. And you are welcome to come and volunteer with us. We have opportunities Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 5. You can call our office. Uh, we do construction, so you can get a hammer, let out some frustration, you can paint um, everything. We build from the ground up. So it's really good time, any age, no expertise needed. Um, so check out our website, which is columbusareahabitat.com if you'd like more information. We also have our application process open. If you know someone who would be a great partner family for Habitat, and that the, those qualifications are that they've lived in Muskogee County for at least a year, that they have a need for housing, and that can be everything from they're homeless to they have a decent place to live, but they're spending so much on rent that they can't buy groceries. So there is a huge range of what we call poverty housing. So if you know someone who's interested or who would be a good candidate, they must have an income because they are purchasing the home from us. I encourage you to have them stop by our office, which is at 1080 Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, or um, our, check out our website, 
www.columbusareahabitat.com. Now another way we are able to have funds at Habitat is through our ReStore. And if you have never checked out the Habitat ReStore, it was formerly known as the Renovation Station, you should check it out. We get donations from contractors and from homeowners who are redoing their house. You have an old refrigerator, getting new furniture, you give us your old couch. We then sell that at a reduced cost and use all of those funds to build our houses. So check out, it's open to the public. You're welcome to come. It's 1080 Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 5. So I encourage you to check that out as well. We have great things from tile, um, appliances, furniture, everything you can imagine. So please come and check it out. Thank you again for supporting Habitat. Thank you, Pam. Um, now we will hear from Amera Group, Real Solutions in Healthcare, Lauren Chambers. Good morning, everyone. How are you all doing today? My name is Lauren Chambers, and I am with Amir Group. I'm the marketing account manager for the central region of Georgia. I cover 33 counties, and Muskogee County is one of my top counties that I spend a lot of time in. So just to give you a little information about Amir Group, we are one of the three CMOs for those who qualify for Medicaid, Peach Care for Kids, Georgia Families, Planning for Healthy Babies. When one becomes a member with Amir Group, we cover dental and vision for adults and children. Um, some of the other benefits when one is a member is that we'll pay for their kids to go to the Boys and Girls Club after school. Um, that does not include the summer camps. If they have a daughter that's between the grade levels of kindergarten to fifth grade, we will pay for them to be a part of Girl Scouts and take care of their journey books in that program. We cover uh, transportation to any physician appointments or behavioral health appointments that one has, as long as they call us three days before their appointment so we can get them there in a timely manner. We cover several over-the-counter medications that are prescribed by a physician. So if it's aspirin or anything like that, we'll take care of that as well. So those are just some of the benefits with Amir Group. We do a lot of community outreach. We actually just finished a spring break tour last week while the kids were on spring break. And we started it off at Rigdon Road with the block party. We covered the Wilson area doing a spring fling. We went to Hamilton, Georgia doing a family night. Um, we also covered the Bull Creek area and then ended our spring break tour in Hogansville, Georgia, which is Troop County area with the block party as well. So we like having a presence in the community. We would love to partner with any of you all as long as it's something positive and that the community can receive free benefits and resources. So again, thank you. And if you have any questions, you can see me. Serenity Hospice, Pat Gilbert. Thanks, ma'am. Um, I am Pat Gilbert. I'm the community liaison for Serenity Hospice. And I actually wear uh, several hats. I'm also the associate pastor out at Eupatoy Baptist. And I'm also the 2014 Chair for Relay for Life in Muskogee County. So I'm going to talk a little bit today about a couple of those hats. Um, the first is Serenity. Um, a lot of you may not know anything about Serenity Hospice. We've been in Columbus about three years now. Um, we have undergone some changes in, in the way we do things. Um, one of the things uh, that I am excited about is we are a very biblically sound company from the top up all the way down. You don't see that a whole lot in the secular world anymore. But we start each Monday morning, we start with prayer, we start with devotions, and we start with prayer requests. And um, that's one of the things that drew me to Serenity. Um, everybody in this room has been touched uh, by some sort of, of serious illness. Um, that where, that's where my other hat comes in with, with Muskogee County Relay for Life. Uh, my mother passed away in 2000 at the age of 50. Um, she was under hospice care when she passed away from cancer. And so I, I knew right then and there that uh, if I ever had a chance to work for hospice, um, I was going to jump at that opportunity, and I did. Um, a lot of people ask me um, on a daily basis, you know, how do you work for hospice? How do you how do, you do that? And my, my response is, how do we not do that? Um, we are called to be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ on this earth. And so uh, working for Serenity Hospice allows me to do that, allows me to reach the people that I would never reach before. Um, and being able to do that is, is, is just an incredible feeling. So uh, Serenity Hospice, we, we're not the biggest. Um, we don't want to be the biggest, but we do want to be the best. And by doing that, by... Uh, Working for Jesus instead of for man, for man is how we're going to do that. So I just want to thank you for this time. Thank you. 
Is your weight preventing you from leading a happy, healthy life? West Georgia Health in LaGrange is the only accredited center for weight loss surgery in the region to offer all three surgical options, and your procedure may be covered by insurance. To learn more about your weight loss surgery options, visit WGHealth.org. So West Georgia Health, so healthy together. Is it possible to have a love-love relationship with your cable company? What if they were a different kind of cable company, starting with not asking you to sign a contract? What if they actually listened to what you need, instead of trying to sell you something you don't? And let's say they backed up their service with a money-back guarantee. Just to be crazy, let's say this cable company was made up of happy people who treated you like an actual human being. We're WOW, and we'd like to change the way you feel about cable companies. Now we will hear from book author, Tony Whitaker. Give an honor to God, who is the head of my life. Um, I write, someone, someone asked me this morning, why do I write? I write because God speaks to me, and when God speaks to me, I am of the impression that it can help someone else. So I want to, I'm kind of like David. I write like David. So I want to recite one of my pieces. It's called, What is the True Color of Love? Because there's so much division among us because of nonsense. What is the true color of love? What is the true color of love? I've asked myself this again and again in my mind. What is the true color of love? In Genesis 1 verse 27, it clearly states that God created man in his own image. So again, I ask you, what is the true color of love? People reason, rationalize, even summarize as to the true color of love. But I venture to boldly state that we just might all be surprised as to the true color of love. Some people say love is black. Still others argue love is white. Mexican, Japanese, Indian? Why must we continue to argue? Can't we all be right? I say love is white for holy is the lamb. I say love is every color in the rainbow, the promise of the great I am. I say love is black for our Savior born that blessed night. I say love is red for the blood of Jesus Christ. I say love is clear. He shed tears for you and me. He died that day on Calvary that all of us be free. I say love is limitless. His magnitude and velocity impossible to perceive. It's height and depth we could not reach, even our greatest dream. So stop the fight. Let's all unite. True love we shall achieve. It is now as it was then in Genesis 1, verse 27. God created man in his own image. I say to you now, love is every color, and this you must believe. What is the true color of love? Well, it starts with me, and it ends with you, and it includes everyone in between. Thank you. Oh, you can get my book from my website. It's called Complete Me, Lord, for Life. My website is my prayer, and I hope it's yours, too. Bye-bye. Gladys Matthews is our next book author. Good morning, everyone. Please excuse me. I am very, very nervous. This is my first book. It took me 13 years to write it, and so I just need help in getting it out there to the women. It's a book designed especially for women. Men can read it too and also be blessed. This is not a man bashing book. For after all, God took us out of a man and created us. So he is our essence. The book is called Talitha Kumi, Woman Arised, based on Mark chapter five and um, the scripture about the woman with the issue of blood because a lot of issues have caused us to be where we are today as women from our past, our present, and even issues we may face in the future. This is what the book is basically about, encouraging women to think better about themselves. Learn to respect yourself. I would love to put Mari out of business. I would love to put 
Jerry Springer out of business, where women go on there and talk about their most intimate parts and just, it's just so disrespectful and exploiting women. So this is the, what this book is about, to help women to raise up to the standard that God created them for. He gave you three standards to raise up to. The first one was to help man, be a help meet to the man. The second was to console him with the right words. And the third was to help him replenish the earth. And I explain all of that to you here. Thank you so much. Reverend Lowell Clyde. How are you doing today, Miss Pam? <clears throat> Good to see you. Good to see you all as well. How's everybody doing this morning? God bless you. God laid it on my heart uh, several years ago to write this book called Prayer and Attitude of Love. As a pastor, I hear people come to me asking how they should pray and what kind of prayers are there and, and uh, should they sound like this person or another person because uh, they sound spiritual or this person don't sound spiritual. And the book is just really <clears throat> is, is about you and a one-on-one -on -one relationship with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And God don't want to hear from anybody else. He want to hear from you. So prayer should be, first of all, understanding that God loves you as his child. And come to him and talk to him like you would talk to a loving father. And lay a request with hope before him. We talk about the different kinds of prayers and you know, uh, prayers of praise and gratitude and uh, reciprocate, reciprocating prayers and asking prayers, all of those things there. But the most important thing is for you as a child of God is, re is remember this, that God don't want to hear eloquent words that somebody else more has spoken, or sounded like your pastor, or sounded like the, the brother, the sister, or the deacon, or someone else. He simply want to hear from your heart. And understand that prayer is not a one-time thing in the morning. It's not a blessing over your food in the evening, nor is it a nighttime prayer before you go to bed. Prayer is a continual relationship and conversation with God all day long. And you talk to him and giving him praise and thanks for everything. You know, even the thing is, if you pull up in your parking space and it's up next to the store, the next to the door, can you just thank God for that? When you get up in the morning and you have your sight and you, your hearing and you're able to get up on your own, can you just thank God for that? Father, thank you for another wonderful and glorious day. You know, so when you go to sleep at night, you're laying your head on the pillow and, you know, because God gives us sweet sleep, amen? amen? Can you just say, Father, I thank you for a night of sweet sleep and I'm anticipating the next day as the Holy Spirit guides me and leads me and allow me to walk in a place of favor and grace because every day God gives us grace, power upon grace and new mercies. And that means favor every day of your life. So just get up every day thinking and knowing that God wants to hear from you. But he wants to hear from you as his loving child. And he is your loving father. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for watching Unity with Pam. If you would like to be a sponsor, please contact us or visit unitywithpam.org. Production for Unity with Pam is provided by Atmotion Media Incorporated.